what um, what have been the big learnings from the last two weeks and the you know coming so close to to, to getting results there? Um, well, I think we've played well in both the games. Now I think we've defended well. Um, I think we just maybe need to learn to do better going forward and um, be a bit more composed on the ball. Um, but I think we've learned a lot about each other. Obviously, we're a team that's not used to losing, especially in the league. So, no, I think it's been good for us. Um, well, hopefully on, on Friday we can get three points and end on the month on a high. It's like a big question for just about every team in the world when they're creating chances and no taking them. Eh? Is it just, a, you know, do you need to be relaxed? Is it, you know, what what is it about when you get in front of goal, just turning it into goals? No, yeah, I think we just need to relax, eh? be a bit more composed in front of goal, eh? be a bit more composed in the final third and start creating chances when we go forward. Because eh? as I said, we've been defending well as a team, we just need to start turning that into goals. Do you do you feel this sense that, that that I've heard from a few players that that Hibs have been kind of forgotten about a little bit, despite all these you know years when you've been the ones up and and, and competing and 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 trying to reel in Glasgow City and now and now all the attention appears to have gone to to these other teams who are, are investing all these sums. Yeah, I'd say that I think it seems to happen every season. Um, we lose players and uh, people rise off, but. We've always achieved every season, we've, whether that be League Cup, Scottish Cup, we've always achieved something. So uh, hopefully we can do that again this year, yeah. Just the case that there's still so many in that dressing room have, have stayed the course, you know, is there a, a, that togetherness? It's not something that can be broken, um, you know, terrible easily, is it? No, we've always had a good togetherness, I think. Um, obviously, we've got a lot of experienced players and also this season a lot of young players. So, yeah, we've got a, a good combination, I think. So hopefully we can do well. You've got a bit of a run of, of having these live games as well. Is it something that the that the players relish? Yeah, well, personally, I like it. I love playing big games. So, yeah, it's good to have them streamed. Uh, obviously, BBC Alba do it, but it's good that uh, other outlets are streaming the games for people to see the season too. Sim, I guess because you can't have, you know, your fans, friends, family coming along and watching in person, it... it it is so important just for, for keeping that sort of momentum behind the women's game going, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's really important. Obviously, family can't go. And that's a big thing. Um, and I think this season we were hoping to get more fans in the games, but obviously can't do that just now. So, yeah, I think streaming the games is a big thing for promoting the women's game. kind of want to touch on similar things to, to what I asked uh, Dean to a certain extent. Um, obviously, Coming into this one, Celtic will be full of confidence as a player. You know, confidence is it can be vital, it can be a huge part of the game. Um, going into it, what's your feelings ahead of this match? Yeah, obviously they've came off the back of a good result last weekend, but um, no, I'd still say we are full of confidence. Although we've been beat, we're still confident that we can go away and beat these teams. So, yeah, hopefully we can do that on Friday. We've had a good week in training, so don't see why we can't go away and get three points. And, and what have you, as, as an individual player and, and maybe as a collective, what have you taken away from the last couple of games in particular? Um, although we've been beaten, I think, as I said before, we've learned a lot about us as players. I think the coaches have learned a lot about us as well. So um, the spirit's still high. Um, uh, but yeah, as I said, we've had a good week in training. So we're still full of confidence and hopefully we can take that into the remaining games before Christmas.